Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a Pacific Northwest plank house. I'm going to take two fingers over here on the right and underneath I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a straight diagonal down, little straight line over, straight diagonal line up, straight line connect. Right at that point I'm going to draw straight diagonal down, little straight line, straight diagonal up, connect. Right here I'm going to draw a straight line down, straight line over, straight line up, connect. I come up here to the top and I'm going to draw a straight line across, straight diagonal down, straight line over, and connect. I come right here on the left and I'm going to draw a straight line down, straight line over, keep going, up, connect. Right here at this point just put a little straight line down. Come right about here in the center. We're going to draw a straight line down, straight line over, straight line down. Come back to the top and draw another straight line over, straight line down inside on the left, straight line down inside on the right, two straight lines going across. Okay? Now, starting over here on the left, we're going to draw a slightly wavy line out. Over here on the right, slightly wavy line out. I'm just going to draw some slightly wavy lines across. Starting on the inside and drawing straight diagonals all the way across. Keep going. Keep going. One more if you can fit it in. Now we're going to draw a straight line across. And now we're going to keep continuing. Straight line, straight line, straight line connect. Come up here, we're going to draw our diagonals. Straight line, straight line, straight line connect. Come on the inside of this space and we're just going to draw straight lines all the way down. They don't have to be symmetrical. They don't have to be the same size. As a matter of fact, if they look more planky, more natural, that's better. Keep going, keep going, okay? Now, starting way over here on the left, I'm going to put a dot, and I'm going to draw a curve line out, in, out, in, out, in, keep going, come up to the dot, out, in, out, in, bam. Can't go any further, come down, straight line down, straight line down, maybe a little curve line. Come right up next to it, put a dot, curve line out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, dot, curve line out, in, out, in, we're making a forest, out, in, out, in, dot, curve line out, in, out, in, out, in, dot, curve line down, Curve line out, in, out, in, keep going, keep going, straight line. Okay? I think that's all. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, in order for me to see my plank house design, I have two colors of brown. Now, if you don't have two colors of brown, you may use light brown for this part that I'm doing right here. And this is the top part of their roof. We're going to do this, a light brown, so you can see it. And then come over here to this section, and we're going to do this light brown because this is their door. They didn't open up like a European door. This is Native American door. And we're going to use this light brown so you can see it. Okay? 
Now on my tree trunk, I'm going to put a little bit of that brown, a little bit of that brown on this side, on the right, and then I'm just going to draw with my light brown lines across the bottom because they would do these structures, these their dwellings, just in the middle of the forest. Okay, and we always work light to dark, so we're going to start with our lights first. Then I get my regular brown. And I'm going to color the planks a darker brown so you can see them. Now, this also is indicative, indicative of the natural materials that were available for these Native Americans in their environment. They were in the middle of the forest. So they had easy access to wood. So they made these plank houses out of planks of wood. Bring it down. You will do a better job than me. Always try to work with the lines. So this goes all the way across. But now when I hit this, I'm going to have my crayon go this way. Okay. Now, the next thing is we want it to look like it's really enshrined in that forest. So, just using green, regular old green, we're going to color all of our trees. Now, there could very easily be more than one plank house in a grouping. A lot of times they would do a whole village of plank houses. And this is where, in front of, all of the dwellings you would possibly find a totem pole and that would ward off any kind of evil spirits and keep good vibes around their dwellings okay so you want to make this all green now if you want to add more trees you can because it was all in the forest now I went ahead and I got a blue and I colored in my background So even though this takes a little bit longer, it really adds to your drawing. And I think it's interesting that the Pacific Northwest Native Americans, because they were in a forest, they used wood, as opposed to the Plains Native Americans who used hides for their teepees. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my Pacific Northwest plank house all colored in. Okay, bye-bye.